In a more recent play session, Maddie and I have realized that we're not going to be able to do a 100% of this while keeping it entertaining. So I'm going to be doing all of the side quest stuff off cam and then redo this entire game as a 100% run in the future. So for the rest of this episode, there will not be a Skultula. Also worth noting, between this episode and the next, I actually got my mic upgraded, so the audio isn't that great on this one. I may sound more quiet compared to Maddie in the game. Uh, but the next episode, that audio will all be worked out, and I will have a tracker so that you can actually see what all equipment I do have. Uh, thank you for your patience, and thank you for watching. Happy haunting. Chicken! Yeah, I'm supporting character. Actually, we need to collect these. Oh, okay. I just remember we actually have a thing that we can do with the chickens. And we want to do this before we switch it over tonight, I think. We are going to have a little bit of side questing between now and Death Mountain, just because there's a lot of good, like, actually really good items. So this is the Cuckoo Lady, or Cuckoo Lady in this game. Uh, in Majora's Mask, she's named Anju. Uh, so if I call her Anju, that would be why. But she lost her chickens and we're trying to get them all back into the pen, basically. Yeah, because she's actually allergic to chickens, so... Dang, that's rough. Them. Yeah. So now we'll this, uh... <laughs> it's not a chicken, but like, get your furry cat ass out of here. <laughs> 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 Freaking, um, eight-legged freaks. A masterpiece, yeah. might I add. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> Fighters just sounding like tigers for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, guys! It's like leading them to charge. You know <laughs> some guy some punches a spider and the spider punches him back. You know that video, uh, Spiders on Drugs? Yeah. I wonder how much of that was inspired by that movie. Pop oh yeah, the... I remember that. He popped, popped the cap in his ass. <laughs> Another one's like driving down with like a car or something. <laughs> now I gotta watch that video when I get after this. <laughs> Why are you on the roof? Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. I've never met you a day in my life. <laughs> Also, he has the Edgar cut. Ed Sheeran? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> My cuckoos have run away. Please help me bring the last one to this pen, please. Wait. I'm still missing one? The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Oh, I see. You're just a kid and you can't read yet? <laughs> Why is he laughing at a kid that can't read? <laughs> no, he's making fun of like he's being bullshit. Anyway, oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay, this is Jankus. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right, you can go now. Just be careful, Mister Hero. Just starts laughing. Damn, doesn't want to take your princess seriously, but still, you gotta <laughs> let him through. Oh, you want to see something funnier? By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the ba uh, bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in Hyrule Castle uh, Town Market? Everyone's talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me the next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sigh. I'm right back. Okay. Continue. Oh, I can't do it yet. Okay. Uh, just remember that. You can go ahead and do what you gotta do. So I ran back to town real quick because I didn't want to do the sun song without you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are currently locked in until morning now. Uh, I can't get rid of this dog that's behind me, unfortunately. I need to get Aww, a different one for a quest. 
Yeah, I gotta get a specific one, and it doesn't really tell. You just have to keep like grabbing them. I do remember. Is it the this. one that's not a brown dog? <laughs> There's a couple of them that are white, but the one that like I specifically need to get is the white one by uh uh the like. Also, I figured out what it is about this that looks weird. These are images, and then like basically have borders set up on them so that Link takes yeah. priority or whatever. That's why it looks so much more detailed. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, I got the Keaton mask from the mask sales salesman, so I can show you the funny thing the guard does. Give me the piece of heart now. Whoa! Richard, this is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. All right, now we never have to see that woman again. Do not worry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the Keaton mask, which uh, is this thing here. Which we can actually put on Link here. Yeah, that's what people think it was literally a reference to. This or is, uh, no, to. Uh, what is it? The Abracadabra one? Abra uh, yeah, Abracadabra and Alkazam. Yeah, it's yeah. actually based on QB. It's actually based on QB because you actually meet Keaton in Majora's Mask. Uh, do you think you're in in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? So if I say no, watch what he does. I won't give up. I have plenty of patience. I have to for this job. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he closed yeah, the he gate if you don't sell it. He yeah. straight up abuses his privilege. Yeah, will you sell it to me? Yes. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Imagine he only like, he opens the gate and that's what the exchange was. Yeah, basically, he, he sold me the mask. He gave me an extra five, but... Still, the fact that he like threatened to uh, shut the door... Oh yeah, these are the wood carver, like the wood, like the lumberjack guys, carpenter, or whatever. Keep the way he runs. They look like One Piece characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of One Piece, I have to catch up with the latest episodes. I yeah. think there should be a new one. Oh, there should be a new one out tomorrow because it's every Friday, I believe. Yeah. I'm on episode. You know what? Now I'm gonna look it up. What episode am I on? I know I'm at thousand hundred something. Yeah. Let's see. So if you try moving the gravestones right now, the kid will be like, "Don't cause trouble." I'll tell Dompe. Fuck is Dompe? Oh, you'll see. Oh, okay. I have like one, two, three, four. Hey, Maddie. It's magic yes. song time, by the way. <gasps> Yay! I do like the magic songs. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. Or make it rain? Uh, no, not yet. Whoa. <laughs> Get blasted. Alright, now, this is gonna be my first uh, save state in the game, and it's purely just so I can demonstrate something. Um, uh, let's go and find out moment. Uh, it's more like, yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, At least for me, because you already know. Yeah, I, I could actually die, like, get stuck and end up dying. Damn. Uh, so these things are, what do you think these are called? These bat like enemies. Batarangs. You want to try again? I give you a three. Oh, damn, I was hoping I'd be right. Is it with a? Is it like bat? What the? F Keys. That's a what they're keys? called. Yeah. Bruh. Oh, there's one right there. Be gone. Yeah, just have a straight up skeleton in here. Skeletons in children games. Yeah, I actually, there is one dungeon in this game I will never, like, I don't play with my nephew watching. 
because it is that like something out of a Silent Hill. Anyway, this is also something I usually don't so show my nephew. You see that thing? What is it? The gas chamber or something? Do you see the humanoid thing standing over there? It looks like the skinwalker. Yes. That is called a redead. So the reason I have the game like a save state set is because I'm gonna reset before I do this. I can't move. I physically cannot move. And now it just starts eating my brain. Oh, I was gonna say, why is it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say it looks like something else, but yeah, it's supposed to be eating your brain. But he's a child. You can't start. <laughs> sir. Yeah. But sir, that's a child. <laughs> It's the Wind Waker that little ones. Fairy boy alone. <laughs> the Wind Waker ones are even worse. Oh no. This poem huh, is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. Yeah, they they have like their sound, like their scream is like an Aztec death whistle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the screams. Yeah, and then they uh, it just like it looks way more aggressive. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's light will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. Learn the sun song. So now we can actually use that to freeze those rededs. I didn't mean to skip okay. that text, but that's okay. Move the second one in this row here. And you can hop down in it. And I believe you get a free shield from this one. Ah, oh, but there's a rededd. One of these days I'm going to play it like a completely different song while trying to freeze those guys. So what I like to do is sneak up behind him, line it up, and then down, down, there we go, he's dead. Also, these ones actually take a lot longer for their course to just disappear in this for some reason. Look creepy. piece of heart never mind wrong grave we gotta go rob somebody else's tomb hold on all right so i'm skipping this heart piece with you right now because i don't think you would have the patience to sit through this bs this here is dompe and he has a a questionable business called dompe's grave digging tour Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I am Dompe, the gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe, the gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Ten rupees for one hole. And basically there's a random chance we get a heart piece from it. Uh, but obviously you can also just end up with single rupees. Very RNG dependent takes forever, uh, especially because you have to wait on Dompe's slow freaking walk animation. So not gonna bother with that one right now, but I'm gonna mark it as if we have done it. That wall behind this chest here is bombable, and this is the Hylian shield, a free one, so we didn't have to pay for one at the market. Now the thing is, uh, Link cannot hold the Hylian shield because he is a child and it is too heavy. So if you use the shield, you just turtle. And like Cute. invert your spine, yeah. And like, then, um, but when he when he's older, or at least yeah, in he the can other games, he can hold it. Oh, that's so cute. He can actually use it as an adult once, uh, once you go post time skip, if he still has it. Interestingly enough, if it gets eaten by a like-like and then he returns to being an adult Link, he won't have a shield. Damn. 
Yeah. That's rough, buddy. No, I don't attack. People Whoa. are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Somebody, what? somebody heard the birds and the bees and took it a little too rough. So, <laughs> no one is safe from sin. <laughs> Get a little uh, burnt out of all the side questing, so. Yeah. If anything, I'm just roasting the Tatato. <laughs> yeah. The Death it's Mountain like Trail. Well, well, Maddie, you're going to be able to feel right at home now. Oh, uh, welcome to hell. Alright, what do you think these guys are called? I don't know, fudge knuckles. <laughs> They're called Tektites. Ah, uh, close enough. Red Tektite. It's six o'clock and it's a hundred and four outside. End of my suffering, please. Jeez. I'm about to like, what was that one meme? Like, I'm bathing in my clothes. I'm bathing. Picking yeah. a, I'm taking a bath with my clothes. That's basically what's gonna happen. Like, jeez. <laughs> like, uh, I'm roasting. I'm, I'm melting. Melting. Literally have the. The fan on me, so hopefully, I don't know if they'll pick up on audio, but I am. Yeah. Also, this that was literally how the Gorons sleep. You're a little goober. I am one of the Gorons, the stone eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It Yummy. blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the caverns. It has become a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Alright, so now we're just going to start climbing up the rest of the mountain, which is an incredibly short walk, by the way, or I guess roll, because i got to keep rolling. And also watch out for that guy, because he will freaking gun it for you and try to hit you off the cliff. Little guy. Ah, yes, the Goron Pot of Greed. Um, I will also be skipping that piece of heart until later. All right, here we go. Here's Darunia, the leader of the Gorons. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. That's Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons. Really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's cavern. We had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Yeah, this is the closest thing to fast travel for a while is the Lost Woods. Uh, you again. Hey, over here, hoo hoo. Jank, oh, I thought it was to see you again. Listen to close. this, hoot hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too, hoo hoo hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Uh, what his hint was actually is if you listen uh, to the. Because the way the Lost Woods work is in each Zelda game is a little different. In this incarnation, you need to go through and you hear the song in the background, right? Mm -hmm. If I start going this way, it completely dips out. But if I go this way, it keeps going. So that's how you know you're going the right way. I'm also not going to do the uh, heart pieces where I have to play the, like, Ocarina duet with the things yet. But that is another heart piece we could get. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give you a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. I remember where I am now. Um, wow, I'm also watching this. I, I saw like a little reel. So there's a Pidgeotto 
that weighs uh, 0.78 kilograms. Yeah. And then there's another one that weighs 43.88 kilograms. Like, uh... I... <laughs> like, very scrawny one versus very chunky. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, the heavy uh, Pidgeotto use, like, body <laughs> Just yeah. breaks the neck of anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, good lord. <laughs> Alright, in, in freedom, in the freedom language, uh, the scrawny one is 20, oh no, was it, 2 pounds? And the second one is 97 pounds. Yikes. <laughs> Straight up body slamming a newborn at that point, like, jeez. <laughs> Absolutely obliterate. <laughs> he is the chunk. Sorry, is it? Oh, never mind. Cutscene. We get to talk to Sorry immediately. I've been waiting for you, Jenkins. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Do, do, do. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. So basically, you can actually use this like a freaking telephone. Like, Link That's can literally cool. use this song like a phone. Doesn't have a whole lot of use, but like, uh, we actually just need this to get into, uh, like to get Dorunia to chill. Now, here's a little fun fact for you. So these things are called gossip stones, right? If you play Zelda's lullaby in front of one, it will give you a fairy. Like, a health healing fairy. And those are the most broken item in this game, as far as, like, uh, your bottle items go. Yeah. When you die, upon losing all your health, it will revive you to full, which is the only time I think in the entire series it does that. All right, here you go, here we go. <laughs> he grooving. Yo, he jigging. <laughs> this is what every person, when they, the average bro, when he hears a song. <laughs> yeah, like, what is it, uh, 2010's white girl music? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, hot. What a hot beat. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something <laughs> came over me. I suddenly want how conservatives like, or how Christians think like depression will just go away. What do you mean, Trey? This is clearly how it goes away. You just gotta play a, a banger song. <laughs> Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. I was there. Uh, was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? I didn't even know this man was stone depressed. Of fire too. The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on. I'm not going to give it to you that easily if you want it so badly. Why don't Dude. you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That I way, everybody just... will be happy again. If you Dog. do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. We just cured your depression, and you're not going <laughs> to give us the stone? Like, what? 
I have something for you. I'm not really giving this or giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. Let's go. You got the Goron's bracelet. Now you can pull up bomb flowers, stand next to one, and press A to pull it up. It's a whole ass crown. Oh, it's actually on our left hand right there. Oh. For here. Gotta hope it's like time to where it's actually gonna land in that stupid thing. And then it'll spin around like yeah. crazy like a slot machine. It has to land on the smiley face, I think. I was about to say, there's no way in hell we got it on the first one. Oh, great, and then I get to jump off because of the freaking camera. Gambling and Ocarina of Time. More or less. Um, technically, we were doing that with the archery game. But it's kind of like the way that uh, fairgrounds and stuff can get away with. Gamble I games love... where it's quote-unquote skill. I do love the gotcha. Or like how Chuck E. Cheese, like a lot of those places, have like the ticket system, which is like just the kitty version of a casino. Exactly. And then like, and then when you're an adult, you realize how shit all the prizes were, and that you can just buy them for like, yeah. like fifty dollars cheaper than whatever they're. Yeah. How many tickets? <laughs> all right, so I want to show this because you can technically get the piece of heart early if you like. Line up your camera, hold this thing, and then roll, and then down B, or like press B to do your jump. You can get this heart piece way earlier. You're not normally supposed to get this one until you become adult Link. Uh, you have to plant a seed over here, like one of the magic bean Wait. berries, which we don't even have access to yet. And I probably should have thrown the bomb flower over the, over the cliff before I jumped off, but hindsight's oh, wow. 20 I guess. So you just throw that down there, and then it should blow up the boulder. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I can't back the boulder, though. What the hell? Dodongo Cavern. That, Maddie, is a skull of one of the Dodongos. You see that thing? Yes. That's a Dodongo. Here's a little swamp puppy. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get him to- hey, come on, come on. I guess not. Uh, you can actually make them eat the bomb flowers and then make them blow up immediately. Oh. <laughs> The, fa the face you make whenever like the family forces you come down at the family gathering. Did you see the <gasps> sound like yeah. what, like face it was making? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Mood. <laughs> but it's like climbing up all the stairs. We can't get that one until we return here as an adult. There's a still too up there. But... When it's 100 degrees and you gotta go up four flights of stairs. Yeah, <laughs> like, just... that a class. <laughs> That's literally what it sounds like. I'm like, ah, I'm dying. Like, I haven't done PE since, like, high school. <laughs> I haven't done PE since, like, freshman of high school. I'm like, ugh, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. Just perish. It's pretty funny. It's hot over here, but it's not quite as bad. But I'm also further north than you are, so... Take a shot every time I find a bruise, and I don't know where it ha how it happened. I'm pretty sure that would kill even Scott at this point. <laughs> like, and even after his, like, how much he drank after that birthday party, and he hopped on Phasma the other day. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, please go away, please go away. Explode. So do they respawn, or it's like once you take it, once it's gone? Uh, the bomb flowers or the, the night guys? Yeah. yeah, the bomb flowers. The bomb flowers grow back. I think okay. this one's a statue, so I can just move it. We literally just need to move this one so I can hop up onto the button and get out. E. I keep getting ads. I keep getting ads to go to a medieval 
torture museum. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I really don't know. But I'll send you. I heard medieval like. torture was not the next word I would have thought. I would have been oh, it's trying to get her to go to a Renaissance fair or whatever because she looks no, at all this anime stuff oh. in the uh, in, uh, uh, costumes. Yeah. No. No. Medi medieval torture. Like you have. Like wax statues or like their eyes gouged out. This is probably not what we should be talking about in a Link game. <laughs> or I mean, a... I was gonna say when we get to the Shadow <laughs> Temple, like. Uh... Ooh, hanging. Ooh, that's also not good. Ooh, the head crusher. The pelvis place. <laughs> Ooh, so, the tongue would be out. Full pause before we continue this because I'm 100% cutting this from the episode. In this case, it's like a little metal plate and it's like, you know, a thing that like holds your like, holds like stuff for you and you screw it in so it can hold in place? Yeah. It's that, but torture. I see. So you just screw it in and put enough pressure and your head. Yeah. Literally, or skull cracks and yeah. watermelon. It's like that, like really effed up uh, story that Wendigoon and Meat Canyon covered in uh, one of their episodes of the Creepcast, where like the uh, basically they had like somebody was trying to invest the serial killer thing, right? And it turns out he wasn't just some ordinary killer, and he didn't kill them. He basically put them in like one of those compressors or whatever, like the skull thing you're describing, and just flattened them little by little for years until they were basically nothing but a pile of human pancakes. Damn. Yeah. That's rough, buddy. Okay, if I could like stand on the platform, that'd be great, thanks. Uh, Get stunned. Get stunned, weather boy. Alright. <laughs> what? Says, the more I think about it, poorly done taxidermies look like a wild shaped druids who rolled nat ones in stealth checks. <laughs> 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 it's so goofy. <laughs> oh man, speaking of druids, uh, <laughs> we probably need to play uh, Baldur's Gate in a couple days. Caleb said he's up oh, for right. it, so... Yeah. I know you want to get back to being your, uh, your stereotype bard run. Yes, of course. Of course. No, Squirtle! What is it? You're probably gonna have to cut this out, but like... <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know those videos where, like, they animate, like, Pokemon, like, food? Oh, I don't have to cut that out. But it's, oh, okay. It's just, a, like, a Squirtle soup as turtle soup. Yeah. But Squirtle, I guess. Yeah, I thought you were gonna, you were about to tell me about some horrendous, like, borderline Rule 34 thing that you had just- Not Rule 34! <laughs> yourself to. Have you seen the memes of, like, a, uh... I need bombs for that? Where the heck am I supposed to get bombs? Wait, did I get the bomb bag? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was so distracted by your, your uh, trauma there. Um, have you seen the uh, the runs some people are doing? Like, it's a Nuzlocke for Pokemon. But every single time a Pokemon dies, you have to, like, one of your Pokemon dies, or one of your encounters dies. You have to look up the Rule 34 for that Pokemon. <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I know someone is gonna be like, "Oops, my Pokemon died." <laughs> yeah, like maybe if it's like Gardevoir or Lopunny, but like nobody wants to look up Stonejourner or Gliscor or like some abominations like that. Like what the fuck? <laughs> That's what Link sounds sounds traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, like half of that, yeah, I would like. 
Good lord, people like are way too freaking thirsty. Like, mm -hmm. it's like the meme I sing about first time seeing Rouge the Bat and Sonic the Hedgehog. Speaking of Sonic, unrelated. Uh, <laughs> so the trailer for the third movie. Yeah. Uh, cause I think what Keanu Reeves is playing Shadow, right? Are you serious? I think so. <laughs> Let me look it up. I'm pretty I, I sure. I almost want to watch it now. Because it's such like a uh, fitting character in a lot of ways. Like it's it's weird, but it's also fitting because it's also John Wick, right? Yeah. So yeah, just another like edgy, like fitting for an edgy character. I, they're saying it. I don't, I think so. Yeah, I think Keanu Reeves is playing Shadow. And it, they actually look good. Like, yeah. The animation. Like, they yeah, look a lot more say, floofy, but, like, then again, that's just artistic choice. And um, I was that's just say, how like, it was. Uh, it's exponentially better than what it was originally. Oh, I do like how you can see the quills, actually. Yeah. Because, you know, them being hedgehogs and all. Right. Um, <laughs> was I s oh, no. I have someone seen... did a recolor- someone did a recolor draw of, like, what the original Sonic oh, yeah. movie character which with Shadow's colors scheme. Yeah, I've seen it. Ugh, abomination. I'm surprised Rouge hasn't been in it. <laughs> I mean, I'm all- like, I am not too shocked. She showed up at the same time Shadow did in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, though. Yeah. Hold on, let me see. One of these days, we could uh, play Shadow the Hedgehog if you want on the channel. I just gotta figure out how to- set it up for my camera or whatever. Come on, Shadow, I'm here to convince you to do sin. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I assure you the real plot is infinitely worse. Oh no. But the gameplay, <laughs> the gameplay in my opinion is the best Sonic has ever been. Like, I don't know what it is about Sonic with guns, but like, somehow they... it... it's a very fun it... combo for some reason. And the fact that, you know, and then like, you know, you gotta kill the president or something. Like, it can't get more American than that. Yeah. I don't remember if you actually have to kill the president, but... Yeah, you do. There's a mission oh. where you're on the dark path where you have to assassinate the president. Okay, so, uh... You know what? Yeah. We can't- we're going the American route. <laughs> what the fuck? That is the Infernal Dinosaur, King Dodongo. Yeah, remember that skull we saw that we went into the mouth of? Yeah, that's, that's it? That's what these things are, yeah. Okay. You know what? That's just a bigger swamp puppy. He just... he just needs some pets. I say, I don't think I need to stab him. Oh wait, yes I do, don't I? I'm being dumb. Oh, I'm mixing, I'm I'm mixing up his fight with the one in uh, Oracle of Seasons, because you also fight a Dodongo. So he blows up, and then we actually get to stab the crap out of him. Damn! Got him like a fish. Yeah, the, uh, oh, if that's... you, if you do the hold Z and then, like, jump stab, like, jump slash, it counts for two sword swings. It's interesting that you? the hearts are cut up into fourths. Yeah, in this game. In older ones, it's also just halves. Okay. And also, just, like, on, the, like, just the Game Boy ones, I think, are halves. Into Original. the mouth. Yeah. Wouldn't that just kill him? But... Uh, no, their stomachs- their stomachs are literally what's- like, what the bomb bag is made of. The thing that holds your bombs in this game and at any future iterations. The more you know. Because this has been how you kill the Dodongos in Zelda since Zelda 1. Because, fun yeah. fact, the Dodongos were the second boss in Zelda 1, uh, Oracle- and Oracle Seasons and Ocarina of Time. Um, in, uh... You melting? Oh! Basically, yeah. Oh! I don't know why he committed suicide. Also, don't know why the lava is going to magically cool once he dies in there, but... That's cool for us. That's terrifying. Oh, wait till we get to the next one, uh, because I think... I think I want to get to the future. Future! Future! I want to get to the future before uh, we hop off, which is going to be like one more dungeon. Although, okay. then again, I was going to say it's already 9 o'clock. We might want to 
change things yeah. up. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do more. Why is he later. naked? I just noticed. The Gorons do not wear clothes in this generation. Like, I don't think Why they is wear clothes until, like, the titties out like era. that, too? Uh, for Sir, one, cover packs. them up. That is a man. <laughs> Sir, cover them up. And it's also implied <laughs> all the Gorons... Planet. It's implied that the Gorons are all male because they all refer to each other as brother. So I'm not entirely sure if uh, any of them are actually female. I don't think in any Recover of the future them. ones in the Regar place. Regardless, cover them up, sir. Like, there's children. You're talking to a child. They're public indecency. You know what opportunity oh. I missed? <laughs> what? I should have given this guy a Hulk Hogan voice because he keeps calling me brother. Oh, I'm like, it's me, Darunia. It well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a yeah, wild adventure it would be. A what? Oh, yeah. I don't Which, know why. In a weird way, it reminds me of Boomy. The beard, probably. And also the fact that, like, the Gorons are a very Earth based uh, character, like, race. Oh, true, true, true. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock block in the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? <laughs> no, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. <laughs> that a <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail right there. Is Link getting shocked? I like the crotch angle there. Link gets slashed. That'll be the title. Pub <laughs> All right. So notice how the Gorons Ruby is shaped like the claw, like on their tattoos. Oh, that's cool. It's it's very pretty. Those are gonna be a pretty like set of necklaces. Yeah. You obtain the Gorons, Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. <laughs> Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, <laughs> won't you? you Wait, Maddie, before we get off, we have to go see the Great Fairy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She'll power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Are you did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Why is it? Look Run! The inbreds are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Run, child. Bro, imagine like traumatizing a child so much their next mission is to go to Death Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. So the red ones are 10, right? 20 in this game. They change oh, value a lot, yeah. So you're not entirely okay. wrong uh, to assume that. But in this in this economy, it's worth 20. So this is not the Great Fairy. I just wanted to show you that there's just a random cow stuck in a hole up here on Death Mountain for some reason. And, uh, if we had another song, we could actually milk it, but, uh, I don't have that one right now. Okay. What? Do not look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we'll also be able to see Bigger on that you, uh, wanted to ask about. Oh, I'm gonna mute for a second, because I'm gonna eat ice. Okay. Uh, I think you don't want to mute yet, though. Oh, no, what? Bigger on's not over here. Because we're literally about to go into the Great Fairy Cavern. It's literally right here. I... You're just going to hear me eat ice then. <laughs> cool. That's, that's perfectly fine. Oh, it went down a little! The ice? The weather went down to 101. <laughs> ah, I see. Alright, are you um... ready for the abomination that has scarred everybody who has played this game since they were children? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just like 
<laughs> ginger poison ivy? Poison ivy is already a ginger. What do you want about? No, I mean like, like red, red. I guess it's more like hot pink, but uh, yeah, I'm the great fairy of power. I'm going to. Or should I say redhead? Something. Because I guess ginger is more orange, and then just redhead is red. Yeah, yeah like ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> You're lucky they didn't design lips because you would have been flashing like a lot of kids. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Lord. That, No, that's that's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> oh no! Just had a quick look at band. Oh man, when they redesigned her for uh, Hyrule Warriors, the original, uh, or Definitive Edition, or whatever, it wasn't quite as bad. Like, it's not as bad, but like, oh my lord. Is it? Is it just me, or would she be hotter if she had like two, uh, an like another set of arms? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> another set of arms, okay. Uh... Yeah! I don't know, I think with like her character design, it, she'd look hotter. It's just too elongated, I guess? Like her spine is too long? Yeah, I think it can fit another set of arms. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Your titties are gonna poke my eyes out. <laughs> she was the power one, right? Uh, yeah, so technically they're kind of all great fairies of power in a lot of ways. Like, in. But she's the red one? Uh, no, or pink all, they one? all have pink hair in this game. No, I mean, like, when they have that aura thing going on, they're, like, green, blue, and pink. She's, like, the pink-reddish one. Uh, no, there's actually, uh, there's six great fairies. They all use the exact same model in this game. Oh, damn. In, in Majora's Mask, they all, there's five of them, and they all have different colors, but in this one, they don't. Ah, okay. Yeah. The great fairies are just literally great fairies. Like, they're great Damn! Fairies, and that's it, what? Guess what? Guess hmm. how hot it's gonna be tomorrow. How hot? 110. That is, that is not good. <laughs>